Welcome to How I Solve This, where we dive into a specific business problem and share how one awesome admin chose to solve that problem with Salesforce. My name is Mark Baseman, Senior Admin Evangelist, and today we're talking about displaying available campaigns on an opportunity. And to help us with that, I'd like to introduce Sarah Pilzer, Director of Operations at Country Dance and Song Society, a nonprofit based in Massachusetts. Welcome, Sarah. Hi, Mark. Thanks for having me. You bet. Before we dive into your solution, can you tell us a little more about Country Dance and Song Society and what they do? Well, our mission is to connect, support people in building vibrant communities through participatory dance, music, and song that have roots in North American and English folk culture. Oh, very cool. So, Sarah, the key business problem you're helping us solve is displaying available campaigns on an opportunity. Can you talk about why you needed this solution for CDSS? Like many nonprofits, we rely on fundraising to support our programs. And so our development team will run many campaigns throughout the year. And a particular donor might be a member of several different campaigns. If we were using the um, automatic uh, campaign influence attributions, we might misattribute it. Um, it's hard to program it with enough nuance in order to really say which campaign influenced the various donations we receive. So we thought instead, wouldn't it be great if we could display the available campaigns on the opportunity record? So when the development team member is processing that opportunity, they can pick which opportunity to select as the influencing one. Oh, that makes tons of sense. Well, can you show us the solution and then show us how you solved it? Great. Um, here you'll see an opportunity record for a donation just came in from one of our donors. And here is my solution for showing which campaigns that donor belongs to. You'll notice we can select to see both active and inactive campaigns, or we can limit it to um, one or the other. So if I wanted to add a new campaign influence record, I would just click this button, and then I could use these lists as guidelines for which campaign to add. Let's take a look at what's going on behind the scenes with Flow. Love it. So here we have our Flow. And what this does is it's going to look up um, the contact who is related to that opportunity via a primary contact role. We have a quick decision choice uh, in case that person doesn't, if there is no primary contact, it'll show a little error message. Otherwise, it's gonna go ahead and look up campaign member records that are related to that contact. So any contact, uh, any campaign that that contact has participated in will show up here in this list. Correct. And once we have that list of campaigns, we can loop through it, pull out the name of the campaign, and then use an assignment to add it to either the active campaign list or the inactive campaign list, depending on the campaign status. Once we've built those lists, we go ahead and display them as you saw on the opportunity, and we give the user the choice about whether they want to see both lists or just one of them. So this allows your fundraising team to be selective about which campaigns they want to attribute that particular opportunity to. Exactly. Sarah, you got some great business results with this approach too, right? Yes. My data entry folks are so happy to have all of the important and relevant information right there on the opportunity. It saved them a lot of time and they no longer have to click back and forth between tabs and get lost during the process. I love it. That's fantastic. And love that you're thinking about your user's experience first. Sarah, thank you so much for joining me today. Yes, anytime, Mark. If you want to read more about awesome admins just like Sarah, head on over to admin.salesforce.com. Remember to subscribe to our channel here on YouTube so you can join us for more episodes of How I Solve This. And if you have a good story of how you solved a business problem at your org, let me know. We're on Twitter at Salesforce Admins Know I and on the Trailblazer community. Thanks so much for joining us today and see you next time on How I Solve This.